Ian Bell. Randy Rose. Ranked number one progressive talk show host in the nation by Talking Radio. The Randy Rose Show on Air America. Well, we came to debating cloning and embryo farming, and we saw human life, human life rack after rack, that's going to be experimented upon and then disposed. I said Roe v. Wade has gone to such an extent that we've cheapened the value of human life. Rack after rack he saw of human life? He saw rack at, what was he, a Gitmo? Where did he see humans on a rack? In a rack? In Guantanamo Bay, in Abu Ghraib. Where did he see that? Is Mitt Romney watching too much sci-fi channel? I say yes. Yes, I say he is. He's sticking to the cloning story as a reason to have changed his pro-choice stance to a pro-life stance. It's all about the farming now. It's all about the human-animal... Human-animal hybrids. It's the rack after rack of human-animal hybrids. Did you see the debate last night? Did you see it? Uh, there was no debate this morning. I'll tell you that. Uh, for those of you in New York, I did uh, the very conservative Armstrong Williams show this morning. And it's just amazing. I mean, I was ready. I brought it. I was 8.30 in the morning. was all coffeeed up. I was ready for the I said, fight with me. Let's bring it up. And he just kissed my butt all over the place. See, I occupied Armstrong Williams this morning. Oh, yes, I did. And for the conservatives, that's how you run the occupation, see? You invade. You win the hearts and minds of the people. And then you leave. Is that so hard? No. No. And now there's a functioning democracy on the early show on our New York affiliate, WWRL 1600 AM. That's how you do it, people. That's how you do it. I was greeted as a liberator. Although I went as a debater, I was greeted as a liberator. And it didn't cost a half a trillion dollars. There were no, no bid contracts on the Armstrong Williams show this morning. None. I will say this. He does have patience with his callers because his callers turned on him this morning. Uh, it was the most amazing thing I ever... I was, this is the first time in the history of radio that I was on somebody else's radio show where his callers called to defend the guest against the host and te to call the guest and say, tell him that torture is... It makes America look, tell him, he was sitting there, but he's, he's kissing your ass now, Randy, but he was sitting there all morning long saying that uh, torture is good and we should torture more and we should double the amount of people. In I was like, Armstrong, did you really say that you're pro-torture? He goes, we are not here to talk about my opinions. Really? I thought that's what talk radio hosts went to work to do talk about their but I will say this this guy was very patient with his calls he got more abuse over the phone than a telemarketer gets every day I was really and he was so patient he didn't hang up on anybody he let them trash him and praise me and uh, you know it was a nice start to my day but I'd say Armstrong you know is this the way that the conservatives are now is it just in light of all the facts in light of all the information in light of all the stuff you should have known before we attacked an unarmed nation you're now saying yes I know I know it was wrong and I understand it and, and, and no child left behind didn't work and it, is that the is that the way the conservatives work these people of principle married to integrity is that the way it works that you just sit there now and you say yeah, well, you know, uh, maybe I should have known what I know now then, but, you know, because maybe it would have saved us trillions of dollars and thousands of lives, not to mention hundreds of thousands of Iraqi lives, but I didn't know then because, quite frankly, I didn't want to know. Is that it? I, I, but, you know, I'll give him props for being really patient with those callers because his callers just freaking turned on him. I never saw anything quite like that in my life, but thanks for inviting me. Thank you. And... I did the whole thing while I was in the bathroom. Yes, I did. <laughs> I didn't even have to, you know, take down my hair. I, it was just amazingly easy. So I'll just tell you that the Republican debate last night was, um, uh, it was it was a soundbite fest for me, I must say. It was wackadoodle city. It was nutso. It was just a bunch of very strange people talking about very strange topics. 
but at least there was a little bit of argument. You know, I mean, there was a little bit of debate. You know, uh, Rudy Giuliani got into it with Ron Paul. That was, you know, you know, I just but there was no debate this morning. I was like a little depressed because I was like I, twelve cups of coffee in and ready. But last night, I got to tell you, it was just it's it's the saddest group I've ever seen. To, to, to be vying for the presidency in a post 9/11 world and all that. I mean, it was the saddest. The first one was sad. This is this was sadder because you would think that you know it's Fox News and they would get you know uh, questions that you know they would all just nod their heads and go home, you know, and it would, and I wouldn't have. To, but I, it was like the second gathering of the old white guys club i even said to armstrong i said do you not notice that your party had absolutely no one on the stage who was a woman no one on the stage who was a latino no one on the stage who was an african-american armstrong yeah, just nobody on the stage they all looked exactly the same to me it looked like kenley's pallbearers you know it was like 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 jerry falwell's pallbearers except they will have a stress look on their face you know He's heavy, but I, it was just sick. It was like old guys beating up on each other, it, like a geriatric version of Fight Club. Do you know what I mean? It was just sad. It was the saddest thing. I'm, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what does the green room look like when these guys, do they have like a fruit platter, scotch, Pepto-Bismol, and Viagra on the, I mean, what do you, how, I, I, they, I don't know. Just the saddest, saddest, saddest bunch of men, you know. It's, it's it was, I you know. Listen, I started rooting for Giuliani only because his last name ends in a vowel, and I thought, okay, that's something. It's something. They had a Mormon. All right. Okay. But the Mormon wants to double the size of Gitmo. I, I don't understand it. But here's like the most amazing part of the debate was. Well, I know a lot of people think Ron Paul was very amazing last night, and he was because he dared to tell the truth. Because I don't know, I guess somebody doesn't send him the talking points. I don't think he gets the talking points in the morning. I think they just leave him off of the, the, the distribution list. Because he's very busy up there telling the truth about why we were attacked on 9/11, and Rudy will have none of the truth because he's like, "Don't you understand, you traitor, that you are a Republican candidate, and you." cannot dump a truth turd into the GOP punch hole. We don't tell the truth. The truth will get you nowhere. We are the GOP. And uh, Ron Paul is, you know, like having none of it. I'm going I'm to I mean, I, tell you the truth, and here's why we were attacked on 9-11. And the reason why we were attacked is because, you know, we were very busy bombing uh, Muslim countries, and we were very busy setting up permanent bases in Saudi Arabia, and they found this to be uh, offensive. You know, those crazy Middle Easterners, uh, you know, they're irrational and their foreign policy is irrational and we didn't understand it. And so that's why we were talking. And Rudy was like, I will have none of it. I lived through 9-11. I lived through it. And I'm thinking, yeah, you lived through it on the street because you put the counterterrorism response team for an attack on the World Trade Center in the World Trade Center. But he was like, I, I want you to take back your words. I, 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 j j we will have none of this truth. And the other guys were like looking at Rudy going, hey, hey, I want to attack too. Nothing. Rudy interrupted my indignant response to that traitor Ron Paul. Stick to the talking points, Ron. Stick to the talking points. We were attacked because they hate our freedom. Which is exactly what Rudy said. That's why we were attacked. I'll play you some of the audio from last night and I'll start at the beginning with the Jerry Falwell. Remember I thought, oh dear God. Oh, dear God, these people are going to just fall all over themselves, just, uh, you know, doing obscene things to the bloated corpse, you know, just making love to... But uh, they actually refused to let Jerry Falwell be discussed in any way. Now, I don't know if it was because even Fox knew that they couldn't stand all the ass-kissing that was about to go down, or if they have a rule, no... Let's say scoring points off of the dead bigot. But it was stunning to me. 16 after. Wow. The Randy Rhodes Show. Helping to fight global warming just by being cool. This is Air America Radio.